Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello friends, it's me Yasmin How are you doing today? I hope you all are doing well So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about what is business correspondence Well, without further ado, let's get into the video What is business correspondence? So, in business, written communication is an important medium for passing information. And this form of written communication used for business purposes is termed business correspondence. The correspondence in business communication can happen within the organization, between different organization or between client and organization. The importance of business correspondence lies in the fact that it's the formal way of exchanging information by which professional relationships are maintained between organizations, employees, and clients. Since it is in a written form, it can serve as a future reference for the information being communicated. So, business correspondence is an umbrella term for all written communication used in business relationships with business partners or for internal communication in the organization. Business correspondence includes all written correspondence in organizations such as personal documents, simple legal documents, personal letters, business contracts, marketing materials, and official letters, both in electronic and paper form. Business correspondence includes information letter, such as letter of introduction, letter of inquiry, letter of confirmation, letter of notification, and apology letter. And also letters of business offer, like letter of proposal and letter of bid. There are also letters of demand or letter of request, Letters of claim or complaint, advertising and marketing materials like brochures or leaflets, personal letters such as curriculum vitae or resume, motivation letter, letter of application, cover letter, and letter of recommendations. And last but not least, personal and social letters like invitations, congratulations, announcements, and condolence letters. According to Ratan and others 2016, there are six functions of business correspondence. Number one, to provide contact between persons involved in business transactions. The first function of business correspondence is to provide contact between persons involved in a business transaction without meeting each other in person. Number two, to provide a reference for the future. Business correspondence provides a reference for the future. For example, it helps one to compare the present rates of some goods and services with the past rates of the same goods and services so that business plans may be made. Business correspondence provides a database on the basis of which decisions can be taken. Number three, to provide a cordial atmosphere. Business correspondence must provide a cordial atmosphere in which to carry out business. The language and tone of business letters and other forms of correspondence go a long way towards creating a pleasant and healthy atmosphere in which business is conducted. A letter of complaint which is not rude or accusatory but based on facts and polite in tone is likely to get a better response than a vituperative one. Number four, to promote sales through letters, which means 
business correspondents make direct sales to a very well-defined target audience and also reinforce the sales efforts of the regular dealer. And number five, to provide evidence for legal action. The fifth function of business correspondence is the part that it plays when things go wrong and the participants in a business transaction end up in the court of law to settle their disputes. In cases of disputes connected with business matters, business correspondence forms a very important reference base and also provides evidence for legal action. Function number six, to provide an economic and convenient business information. In brief, the function of business correspondence is for promotional function, informational function, legal function, and goodwill function. There are different kinds of business correspondence that are typically used in organizations. The five most common types of business correspondence include internal correspondence, external correspondence, sales correspondence, personalized correspondence, and circulars. Internal correspondence is a written communication between the employees, units, departments, and branches of the same organization. Internal correspondence can either be formal or less formal. Routine internal correspondence is usually less formal, such as quick instructions between a supervisor and a staff, and these are normally take form of an email. There are other more formal types of internal correspondence, which include promotion letter, written reprimand, request for approval, and letter of approval or dismissal. These types of communication are ideally printed on paper, signed by the sender, and physically received by the recipient, while external correspondence takes place between different organizations or between an organization and their individual clients. This is a form of written communication made by a company to those who do not belong to their organization. External correspondence is commonly made to vendors, creditors, suppliers, existing customers, prospective clients, financial institutions, government offices, law and accounting firms, business affiliates, sponsors or donors, and other offices that have either direct or indirect business relationships with the company. And sales correspondence refers to sales-related communications. It is not limited to just selling a product or service, but it also includes other activities relating to sales. Sales correspondence includes marketing letters, offer and discount letters, sales proposals, invoices, statement of accounts, sales reports, order confirmation, purchase orders, letters of authorization, collection letters, and such. For the purpose of selling, it is important to know how to write quality sales letters to be able to communicate effectively. Also, marketing and offer letters should reflect truthful and non-misleading information. Other kinds of sales correspondence such as invoices, purchase orders, and collection letters must contain accurate information. When corresponding with a person whose native language is different from your own, keep in mind it's always best to use a certified language translation service to guarantee you don't miscommunicate. Personalized correspondence involves personal and emotional factors. Despite being labeled as personalized, this type of correspondence can also be used for business purposes. Examples of personal correspondence include letters of gratitude, letters of favors or requests, appreciation notes, letters of congratulations or commendation, 
and such. Um, so this particular type of correspondence doesn't need to have a very formal tone, though this can be done via email. Writing an actual physical letter is preferable because it has a sense of personal touch. And the last one, circulars. Circulars are notices that are communicated to a large number of people within the organization. It is also referred to as office interactions or announcements. Often, general announcements such as change in contact information, details about meetings with shareholders, or instructions about certain protocols, and etc. are being communicated via circulars. The characteristics of business correspondence letters. Number one, ABC, accurate, brief, and clear. The letter is brief to the point and conveys its main points clearly to the reader and suggests follow-up action. Number two, courteous and considerate. The language used in business letter must be courteous. Writers must always use open, friendly, and honest wording in their letter. It doesn't mean that one must use slang and abusive words. One must always add the words like please, thank you, etc. Number three, appropriate tone, which means if you are writing a letter of complaint, state your case without turning your letter into a factually grant. If you're writing a letter of recommendation or praise, state your case without going over the top. Reading your letter aloud helps you check for the appropriate tone. Number four, naturally and sincerely. The letter use natural language, not exaggerate and be respectful. Number five, kiss. Keep it simple and short. The language used in business letter must be simple and easy. One must not write a business letter in difficult and fancy words. Number six, modern terminology. Use general business words rather than old-fashioned formal words. For example, avoid using above mention. Instead of using above mention, you can use above. Or instead of writing, please be reminded, we can use please remember. Number seven, include essential details. Only the essential details not all the details are written. Number eight, consistent. Consistency of content and use of language. Number nine, active sentence. Using active sentences so that they can show confidence and are more effective and efficient. Number ten, clear. Clear, logical, empathetic, accurate, and right. The language used in the business letter must be clear. It helps the receiver or the reader to understand the message immediately, easily, and clearly. Any ambiguity will lead to the misinterpretation of the message state. And it must be sequential and logical. Do not offend and no errors in grammar, spelling, punctuation, etc. Check your spelling and make sure your punctuation is correct. Make sure, too, that you have answered any questions fully and that the information is complete. So, we can conclude that business correspondence is useful for day-to-day -day business operations of an organization. Using it, people within a company can communicate with each other effortlessly. It also helps organizations to transact and keep an excellent professional relationship with various business partners, clients, and even other businesses. Written communication serves as a formal way of communicating while maintaining professionalism between employees, organizations, and clients. It may also provide a future reference 
for the details being communicated. It's critical for everyone in an organization to know how to express themselves through writing, be it via email or a physical paper. Being professional, choosing the right words, and being sincere and courteous while corresponding can make a significant impact on the image of your business. Well, friends, I think that's all for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you!